Morning guys. Morning. Time for us to get on the road again. It's now seven o'clock normal time instead of foreign time. And we're just about to vacate Ashford Truck Stop in Kent. Not a bad stop, was it, hon? Right. Usual. Usual, but because the place is so big, you don't get much sleep after about four o'clock in the morning. Um, because there's always going to be a truck starting up to go. This isn't this isn't a complaint. This is just the way it is. Another McCardles there. Look. Um, Sorry, we're just sidetracking like we normally do. And this 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 block paved and it's quite rough, so trucks rattle and bounce all over them. Um, but after four o'clock in the morning, you're going to get always going to get a truck start and, and going. And um, so we thought we'd get up and do our stuff. And um, well, we've been in and had a latte and a croissant. Just gonna hand our gate pass in, our payment, and then go. <laughs> Down the dip. Yeah, that's where everybody stops, isn't it? Hello, anybody at home? <laughs> Thought you'd gone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, bye. bye. Yeah, so it ain't a bad truck stop. It serves its purpose, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's all right. Um, it is really, it is really past its sell by date. Well, um, and we all, <laughs> yeah. But it was great last night. Um, that TSA driver getting Nick for peeing <laughs> in the um, lorry park. Um, I won't go on about that now, but if you want to hear me talk about that, we did that on yesterday's vlog. But it's a mere pee in the ocean. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> it's a mere pinkle in the ocean, isn't it? Um, I went in the, the, to clean my teeth and um, used the toilet this morning. It's got a stainless steel trough in there to pee in, and it really isn't up to standard. There's no excuse. Um, it's just not a very pleasant sight. Just a, a little bit of cleaning fluid and a scrub and brass and perhaps something a bit more rough would get that clean. When I'm cleaning my teeth, I'm listening to what all going on. There's about two or three blokes in there at the same time. Where does all this phlegm and snotting up come from? I never go all that, I can't even do that noise now because I haven't got any, but I never do all that horrible snotting up that back of the throat noise. I don't think I've ever heard you do that, you don't have any. I can't. How come you hear so much, I don't know, I don't understand I why think... blokes get all this phlegm and snot and then gob it out. What's... It must be because they smoke. Really? I think so. Well, why do they do that to themselves? stuff to their lungs and they've got to get rid of it. But what a disgusting, filthy noise and... It's a filthy habit, isn't well, it? Well, I had it in the shower last night with all the gobbing up and the snotting and gobbing and that's not nice because you've got to go and stand in there. Mind you, doing my flip-flops on, but that's not the point. Yes. But it, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't, any, wouldn't want anybody to hear me even doing that, would you? I'd be embarrassed. But Let alone walk along the street and do it in sort of as you're passing someone. Oh yeah, we walk That's fitting like they do. We they walked do. through to the building last night before. Oh, well, it's when we were going to go and have our shower and that, yeah. wasn't it? And there was a bloke who did it within about ten foot of each spit and gob, wasn't it? He did it and then snotted up and gobbed out again. And I know this is a bit disgusting, but it is disgusting, isn't it? And that's the sort of cretins you've got to bloody rub shoulders with. They're vile, bloody spitting all their germs all over the place. It's one of the worst things because, you know, it's, it's dreadful. All sorts of stuff in it, isn't it? Yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? It's awful. Well, it's the smoking thing, isn't it? Oh, don't 
Don't you like that? Well, now that happens, look. <laughs> Loving smashing. Straight out. I think we've got to get to the right here anyway. That's why they're making a new junction because it's, this it's gets all nailed up. That'll be easier when that's done. At least we can beat that rubbish that's going to be queuing up there to get out by going a little bit early, haven't we? So I expect we'll get it round on the M25 at Dartford. Um, You've finished talking about snot now. Yes, uh, the, the snot gate is finished. But it's because they smoke. Disgusting. Sure of it. I've never been in that state. Even when I've got a cold, I do not make that noise and spit it out all over the place. You started it again. <laughs> one more thing. Just one more thing. Well, it won't be just one more oh, thing, it'll be no, loads it of never them. is. <laughs> <laughs> we I done my walk around this morning as you got to by law and for safety, for your own safety and everybody else's. Um, sort of had about five minutes before we went. There was quite a few drivers getting ready to go, getting themselves sorted out. But we never saw one walk around, did we? No lights on, checked. Nobody walking around checking their wheel nuts or if anything's fallen off or anybody's stolen their fuel caps. Cut their curtain. No, or pulled their pin. Um, we they just get up and just go, no walk rounds, and that honestly we never saw one, did we? we saw about three or four blokes. Yeah, we're doing milling. Yeah, well when so we went in and had our coffee and that before I booked on, and I booked on at, at um, quarter to seven, and um, it only takes a few minutes to walk around this truck because I know it inside out. You know, it takes me about five, six, seven minutes. But you've got to show a 15 minute. So those extra few minutes, you sort of just do okay. bits and pieces and that. And you look around what other people are doing and they just don't do any walk rounds. They're on everybody's roads. Yeah. Out roads, roads abroad. Putting us all at risk. Terrible behaviour. It's not professional at all, is it? Anyway. Onward!
great time. Stop in Flip Flop Central, Toddington Services. Use the Kazi. Grab a proper coffee. Hey. Proper coffee. Liquid life, as Josh would say. That's Trucker Josh from Canada, by the way. Um, yeah, so we, the M25 was very kind to us. As you see, Dartford Tunnel was running clean and green. No problems at all. Um, all we had was a little bit round by South Mims. Look at this clown here. What a stupid bloody play. He could even got his bloody arse ending, look. You stupid idiot. I bet all he's done is stop there to bloody pee. After 400 I'll yards, you follow the road to the right. Sticking out. Clown. Isn't it? I don't like Toddington. There's all this backing in malarkey. It's not easy. You either got to let people in or let people out. I have, but I expect someone's in it. Wait till this clown gets um, gets in here. <laughs> Flippity floppadin central, isn't it? Yes. That bloke sitting there waiting to blow on his horn, I think. Yeah. He's a bit. He's a bit of a funny angle, isn't he? He is a bit of a funny angle. Yes. No, no, no. See, look, you've got to wait for all this shunting, all this stuff going on. He's alright, he's got a mirror in the bottom of his the window in the bottom of his door. Look, he'd be alright. Let's see where he's hit. Go on, mate, you can do it. He's not a flipper than flopping, then, is he? I've heard that when they put them windows in the bottom of the doors, you can't wind the window down. Someone on um, Twitter said it the other day. Surely. Well, it takes out the yeah, space. Shouldn't it be sort of like a double um, thing that the, the yeah. window can go in? I'm stuff myself here. Yeah. Uh, I have to go next to this fridge. Never mind. I think he's off anyway. Not off, off, just off. The fridge is off. The fridge is off, but it doesn't matter. We're only having a swift pinkle and get ourselves a coffee. Catch you in a bit. Ugh, the weather's turned absolutely vile, isn't it? Yeah. It's rotten out there. So good. Oh dear. Oh. oh dear, look at the state of it out there. Um anyway we've buckled. Yes. <laughs> we um got us got our Greg's latte. It didn't take much to buckle. Glad <laughs> we got our bacon roll each. <laughs> Blum and smashing. Mmm. Bacon's not very hot, considering it's only just been finished in the oven. Mmm. Okay. Can you put sauce in it? Yeah. Right. It's it right down the end. Oh, no way they put it in. It's always down the end. The bacon's it? not spread out, it's oh, all down one end. In a blob. Oh, it's not very cooked. Mmm. Oh, wow. Uh. Um, a lump of white fat. Yeah, we like our bacon done a bit better than that, don't we? But they just, what they do, they've got a procedure where they hold the bag. I know it's all to keep it cleanse it clean and everything, isn't it? The roll's already in the bag. They it? put the roll in the bag and open the roll up. The, ro the roll's open in the bag. So obviously they chuck everything in and it all goes down the bottom of the roll. It's not spread out or laid flat. Obviously it's their rules now. You've got to sort it all out. Well, 
we've got more um, brown sauce in there if you want. No, that's enough. Ah, that's nice, sir. Right then, that was a swift half hour break, wasn't it, hun? It's alright though. Yeah, we had to wait a few minutes for the bacon to be almost cooked. Almost cooked. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, what, um, what? hey, what? It's steaming up. Yeah, it's all steaming up in here, look. What a difference a few days make from weather. Cold. Back in good old Blighty, it's aren't we? Cold. Bloody freezing. Yeah. August. 16 degrees and down with rain. Is it October? Have we skipped a couple of months? Oh, we ain't been away that long. Been in the time war. Oh, dear. We was in 35 degrees the other day. Now, follow the road to the right. Oh my god. But it wasn't even that warm in um, France, was it? No, we had to have a night eater on at some stage just to warm our little twinkle toes. Yeah, weird weather. Right, just um. Get a it then. Oh, hey. oh. stop. None eaten. in um, none eaten, none eaten at all. But well, we did. We had bacon. Man. We had bacon roll just there, didn't we? So there was some eaten. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. We've now got to go up to Crew and collect up there to take back down to base. So we'll be out again tonight. So we've um, got to cut across the A5. Now. The roundabout, take the second exit. Um, cut across the A5 and then jump on the M6 toll road. We're going to stop it now. Exit. We're going to stop at Norton Kane's um, services. Hang on, what's going on over here? Yeah, yeah but there's hardly anything ever on this road. Look, it's, it's what the what? Yeah, but look, what? Yeah, you know, what's happened there? Look? All the that side vans. of that van's bashed in, and that's there. Look, and there's a bloody ambulance. What is wrong with people? This this bit of the road never is never busy. Anyway. <laughs>
that's our brake done. Better go max it again. It actually, it is easing off a bit now, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's not as bad as when no. we walked over. Bloody soaking wet. Oh, I've never seen Norton Kane services so busy. It's full of normals. Packed. Packed with normals. Packed. Bloody normals. Right, up to crew. Hour and ten minutes. Been a fair wind. There's no aggro on the M6. Steaming up again. Yes, we're all steaming up, look. Turn that round there. Yeah, see him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's bright. It is bright. It is getting lighter, isn't it? No, I keep saying that. I don't know. Keep running into it again. Oh. Has it been? Mm -hmm. Right, we should be in crew at uh, just before I pass two. crew now and look just a few little spots of rain if it carried on like it did coming up the M6 I would have been wet through to my pants I would think we have spares. yes spares of most things don't we us international truckers international <laughs> we've got to cover every event haven't we <laughs> so hopefully this will, this will hold off until I um, get myself loaded and then I can do what it likes after that again. Nice if it stopped. The it stage the stopped. The sun came out, dried it oh, up a bit. God, uh, oh. it's been mental, isn't it? All the way up. It's 15 blooming degrees. Jeez, that's 20 degrees less than what we had in the south of France, isn't it? 20! 20's good on, nice on a good day, isn't it, for us normally for us. in the UK, let alone 20 less. It's like us going up to Moronio, coming back here, isn't it? Similar sort of thing. I think it's about 15 up there. Yeah, bloody freezing. I knew you were going to do that, mate. I did know you were going to do that. 16? It's actually warmer up in Finland than here. I'm 17 now. Oh, well, that's, there you go. Look. Just updated. Warmer in Finland than here. 
I'm loaded and I didn't get wet it stayed dry well it ain't dry obviously because it's been raining but it's not actually rained no actual rain falling on me so that was a blessing wasn't it right I've got to try and get to Sutton Scotney tonight I've got four and a quarter hours left it's just over three and three quarter hours down to there but we've got a whole load of rubbish on the M6 I think if it's like what it was when we came up I think it's going to be a tall order I as a rule normally come out through the houses of crew you know through the town and that basically I don't go around the outside because that's normally a bit busy nailed up but it's getting to the time of day now, nearly up past three, that, that all the, everybody's going to be turning out and going home, aren't they? Half past three? Half oh, three, four o'clock, perhaps there might be a bit of traffic through the town. There's no schools on. Oh, maybe that's it then. Maybe we'll be alright, though. It's maybe that's why the M25 and the Dartford Tunnel was alright this morning. The blooming rain wasn't on school holidays as well, wasn't it? Well, we escaped. It's taken us less than 10 minutes from our loading point right through the town instead of going around the outskirts. Wouldn't have been our fight around by now. <clears throat> Don't always work that way though. Luck of the draw, straight out of the bush. We'd be out to the motorway in five minutes, so that's just over 15 minutes from our loading point out to the motorway which is good all to the speed limit obviously no speeding no speedy boarding Steady run, wasn't it, hun? Mm, not too bad. M6 was kind to us. Everything was on the opposite That's side. Yes, it. it. Everything was heading northbound. Now that we're at Warwick Services, by the way. We well, it's not called Warwick lights. Services, by the way. It's Warwick Services. We had a little bit of sunshine just now. We did, didn't we? Here. Yes. Um, not a lot. Not a lot. Well, I think I'm going to make it to Sutton Scotney. I've just looked on the Googles, and it looks clear down at the M. 40 A34 junction and it will be a nine and a half hour drive today but I'd rather get down to Sutton Scotney because it's a pain in the morning if you're going to leave the M40 gets nailed up unless you leave early and I don't want to get up early but if, I'd rather work a longer day today work a little bit later and start later tomorrow that's the best thing to do isn't it um, yeah so yeah, it was a little bit on the M42, wasn't there? A bit narrowed up. And 
but uh, hopefully the weather will stay nice the rest of the way down. And we should be in Sutton's Gotney by about quarter past eight. That's um, 13 and a half hour day that'll be, so it's a long of everything today. Fair day's work. Two hours from now. About hour and 50, innit? That's what it says on there. It's about hour and 53 driving, but it'll be about hour and 45 if we can keep the wheels moving. So it'll be about a nine and a half hour drive in total today. Because I've done, at the moment, seven hours 43. And, um, so there'll be no editing tonight. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> you know, I haven't even finished off that Monday vlog that I did on that I did on my own. Well, it didn't end up a little vlog, did it? it ended up two parts, an hour yeah. or more, because I haven't done the second part yet. I've done the first part and to be continued. Yeah. And I've been we've been away since last Wednesday, Wednesday. so that's eight days, isn't it? I've been away eight days and I haven't done a bit of editing. Naughty me. Step for you. One minute to go, we gotta go. We'll see you later <laughs> in Sutton Scotney with a bit of luck. And that's it. We made it. Well, to here. Well, where we wanted to be. Where we were planning to be. Well, we made it. We made it with 45 minutes to spare on a 10 hour drive. Well, 40 minutes to spare. Mm. Mm. Pam. Yours. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Last ones. So that's a fair day's work, isn't it? Asher truck stop to none eaten. Deliver, none eaten to crew, collect, and back down here. And so we've funny. had a pretty steady day because we've had no real hold ups, have we? Rotten weather. Yeah, but we managed to keep going. We kept going. Yeah. The M25 was kind, Dartford Tunnel was kind, M1 was kind. Well, we never had no aggro anywhere, really. And it was all other side going up and other side yeah, coming back. Yeah, swap round coming back, didn't it? Yeah, so uh, okay, really. what did I do? So, uh, why is that come back on? Stupid bloody dash cam. Just go away. Everything clinks in yes. there. Yes. Um, yeah, done over 600 k's today. Mm. If I had another hour, we could have got back. There you go. And I'm in my own special parking space. I don't know if you can see that with a reflection on the wind. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that. This is, I'm, I'm giving you top secret information now. Yeah, don't use it. <laughs> this, is my, this is my special parking space. So if I catch any of you lot in it, there'll be trouble. <laughs> if I come here and you're parked in my space, there will be trouble. You're not often here though. No, but this is, this is my space when I come. Isn't it? It's like the Clackett Lane space, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Well. Nothing, it's fine. You're having a moment. Yeah, well, it said autofocus cancelled. I don't know. I didn't cancel it. Oh, mm. Mm. Right, so we've had a nice little sort of omelette tonight with a bit of bacon and mushroom in it, haven't we? Cheese. And cheese. All it was was cooked bacon, cooked mushroom, and an egg chucked over it. Yeah. And uh, some cheese on the top. Yeah, because it's it just, nice, just stuff we had to use up, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't have much left, really. Well, that's enough, and it's been away eight days, so we've still got some bacon left, haven't we? Yeah, See, it's not that we eat bacon every day. We took ten slices with us, and we still got. I think it was ten. Still got four left, mm -hmm. haven't we? So it's not. Some people think we eat bacon every day, but we don't. We've had it twice. Hmm. Is there anything else we have to say? Don't think. I don't so. think so. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, we'll make this a short one to short. And end tonight, and um, you've had your rant about things. Oh, well? yeah, you had a rant this morning about things. Oh, about oh, you're on. Right oh, well. gobbing up and blokes in showers, and all well, that. I'm not gonna go there again. They're vile, anyway. On that bombshell, we're gonna go, are we? 
and we'll see you in the morning. Thanks for joining us mm -hmm. today, guys. And all those ones who are watching and not subscribing, yes. you to subscribe, please. Fif Pretty, please. Fifty-two percent of you lot aren't subscribing who are viewing. So please subscribe. It don't cost nothing. It don't cost a penny. It's just good for the channel, though. That's it. And press that bell button, and then you'll get the notifications when a new vlog comes up. It's all good stuff. So, so I'm told. <laughs> Well, it's stuff. <laughs> it's stuff. It's some sort of stuff. Some anyway, sort of I don't know if it's good or bad or what. <laughs> it's just stuff that we do. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Mm. Good night. Bye.